Hello and welcome to day 16 of Hashtag Popcorn Horror Fest. Today we are watching um, classic Halloween kids, uh, you know, viewing Hocus Pocus. Yes, yes, we've gone there. We're going to see Carrie Bradshaw before she was Carrie Bradshaw. We're going to see Bette Midler get her witch on. Um, I'm excited because I haven't watched it in years. Um, I hope it's still as good as I remember it because I remember loving that film as a kid. Um, so yeah, so Russ is currently doing the washing up which quite frankly is the best thing ever, um, always. I did make the dinner though so it is fair. Um, and yeah, so this was obviously my choice. I can't see Russ ever choosing Hocus Pocus. Um, Russ, how are you feeling about um, loads of the dishwasher? But also, how are you feeling about watching Hocus Pocus? Have you ever seen it before? <laughs> no. Um, what? I'm not. It's, I'm not really the target audience for this film. I've never seen it before. I've never had any desire to see it before. I would have happily gone through my entire life without ever watching it or feeling the desire to watch it. But here we are today watching it. I'm super excited. <laughs> so am I. So am I. <coughs> so did Bette Midler put a spell on you? And uh, now you're hers. Hmm? Now you're hers. No. no, why not? Just no. Could you not go with it, like the fun of it? I think you missed out not watching it at the, t at the time it came out, to be quite honest. I mean, quite possibly. As a, what, 11 year old boy? Yeah. Then, but not now. On the face of it, it's just another bog standard Disney live action, you know, nothing special, nothing amazing. But I think there are certain things that make it still fun to watch all these years later. The first thing is um, Bette Midler, obviously. Um, she's just like throws herself into this really camp version of a. a, a you know, lead coven, lead of witch of a coven of witches, um, with the two silly ones behind her, um, including early role for Sarah Jessica Parker, um, who is perfect as Sarah, I think, um, and just they carry a lot of the humour in the film and the kind of, I can imagine as an adult taking your child to see this film at the time when it was released, like that was probably the bit that you found the most entertaining. Um, and also I think Thora Birch is really good as the little girl, like she has some of the funniest bits of the whole film, um, just as this really kind of witty younger sister. Um, you know, the, her brother and that whole plot point is like, and the girl that he's after, I mean that could be, you know, that's nothing exciting to hear about, but I think it's just it's really silly it's a silly halloween movie but it's still fun to watch and i think probably for me primarily because of the nostalgia factor and the fact that i used to love it as a kid and i think when kids love a movie i mean there's got to be something in it like it takes something to keep kids attention you can't just spew out any old trash and expect them to watch it for an hour and a half um i think it's funny it's silly um and has some funny and heartwarming moments what more do you want from a Disney Halloween themed film? I, mean, I don't I don't think my brain can comprehend. That's you just... look like I did when I finished watching Martyrs. <laughs> <Quite, yeah. laughs> I'm not sure what that says about us really, but yeah, individually. I'm not one that's gonna be wooed by a musical number in the middle of a film. I'm not uh, the acting on the most part was pretty much terrible. <laughs> the I don't know what sort of tone it was going for, just... Funny! To, but Comedy! I but I think it missed the mark completely. Are you joking? Starting off with witches sucking the life force out of a young girl and enslaving a young boy as a cat forevermore and then jauntily being hung, then woken up to a jaunty tail and flying around, dancing around and singing and... I just... I, I just... No... <laughs> no. There was no any of it that you liked? No. No? Too much for you? 
Tomorrow we're going to be watching another of my choices, which is a more recent film, um, Cloverfield, which I came out when we lived in New York, and I saw it there, which was one of the more surreal experiences of going to the cinema for me, um, because you come out and it's all what you've just seen on screen in the same streets. Mm. But um, I had that with Enchanted. <laughs> no. We no. went to see that together. Okay. Uh, we went to see that in New Jersey. What are you talking about? What? No, I'm joking. Um, it was a joke. I made a joke. Did we go see New Jersey? I can't remember. Come on, guys. If you remember Hocus Pocus and remember how awesome it was, give this video a thumbs up. Make Russ see that he's a, he's a monster for not even realising how amazing it is. A Russ monster, if you will. <laughs> See you tomorrow! <laughs>